This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can quickly resize an image using Procreate for the iPad. So I'll go ahead and open up my image here with Procreate. And the first thing you want to do is navigate to the Actions menu, which is over here in the top left corner represented by this little wrench icon. Go ahead and tap on that. And right beneath where it says Actions, we're looking for Canvas. So go ahead and type, tap on Canvas, and then we're looking for Crop and Resize. It's the first item on that list there. So go ahead and open up that. And what we want to do now is open up the settings menu, which is over here to the top right. And if you notice in this menu, we have this option that says resample canvas. So if we turn that on, that will allow us to resize not just the canvas, but the contents of the canvas as well, which would be our image here. We want to make sure we have that enabled because if you don't have that enabled, it's just going to change the size of the canvas and not the image. It's going to crop your image. We don't want to crop the image. We want to resize the image. So we have that enabled. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to tap on uh, up here, right beneath where it says settings, as you can see, it has the size in pixels right there, 2508 by 1672. I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the width right there, and I'm going to change this to whatever I'd like it to be. I'm going to type in maybe 1280. So let's say I wanted to use this for like a um, like a thumbnail design or something like that. I would size it at 1280 for width. Go ahead and tap done, then go ahead and tap done. And then it will go ahead and resize your canvas. Now, it doesn't look any different on the screen here because it's the same image. But if you come back up here to your menu and you tap on crop and resize again and open up your settings, you can see the new width and height right there, which is 1280 by 850, 853 like that. And that is how you can go about easily resizing your image using Procreate for the iPad. So if you have any questions or need clarification about anything I went over in this lesson, just go ahead and leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.